Hello guys, welcome back to the next session on shell scripting tutorial for beginners. In this session, I am going to show you how you can read inputs from your terminal in your script. So to get input from the keyboard, you will use read command. The read command takes input from the keyboard and assigns it to a variable. So let's see how we can use it. So for example, I want to allow the user to enter some names. So I will just write echo and after that enter name and then I will and then I will allow the user to enter the name so for that I will use the read command so type here read and then whatever variable name I write after this read command your input will be saved in this variable so for example I write the variable name as name itself then your input will be saved inside this name variable now, uh, now I want to print uh, this variable so I can just uh, write here echo echo and after that I will use uh, the string as enter entered name columns and after that uh, the variable which we have specified earlier so uh, use this dollar symbol to specify your variable and name as we have seen in our uh, previous session so now just uh, save our script and let's see what output it gives so just uh, head back to your terminal and write here dot slash user input dot sh and enter so as you can see it is asking me to enter my name so I will uh, write the name for example Jack and after that uh, press enter and now as you can see entered name is Jack and it's working fine so whenever you want to take an input from the keyboard or terminal use the read command now for example you want to enter multiple variable in a same read command you can do that also so for example I want user to enter multiple names so I will just uh, edit this uh, string uh, echo string uh, to the names and after that I will instead of using uh, a single variable name I will use uh, multiple variables uh, first variable is name one second variable is name two third variable is name three and so on so after that uh, how I can print uh, these names on our terminal so uh, for this I will edit the echo string entered name we will uh, edit this as entered names and after that uh, instead of using uh, a single variable dollar name I will uh, use dollar name one and after that space comma and dollar name two and space comma and after that dollar name three so simply uh, save your code and uh, let's get back onto your terminal and execute your script again so uh, now here you are going to uh, type multiple names so for example my first name is jack so you don't have to press the enter key but you have to uh, give space between uh, names so first name is jack second is uh, king and third is tom so press enter so as you can see entered names jack king and tom so we have used three variables you can use five six seven eight and so on uh, now for example if you want to enter the input on the same line as you printed this uh, echo string on the same line then how you can do this so for example i am going to uh, run the script again so as you can see it uh, prints the string echo uh, which is enter names and then i can see the prompt on the next line uh, now sometimes i want uh, this uh, on the same line uh, as this echo string uh, so how i can do this so let me uh, remove everything from the visual studio and let's say i want to allow the user to enter his uh, username uh, right uh, so i can just write here read and after that i will use the flag which is hyphen p uh, it allows to print prompt on the same line and after that i will write here a username which is a username and after that i will specify the variable which is user 
which is user and uh, underscore uh, var so this will allow me to enter the input on the same line and to echo this i can just write here echo and whatever the username is so i will uh, uh, write the same text here and then uh, the variable name so i will write here username and then the variable name which is dollar user underscore var so just uh, save your script and let's uh, run it on our terminal so uh, cancel it and uh, uh, run your script again and after that uh, it's asking me for the username uh, so i think uh, we have spelling mistake so let's just uh, correct our spelling mistake first so it's user name and save your code and after that control c to cancel and run your script again and uh, after that it is asking me to enter my username so i will write here jack and press enter so now as you can see username as a jack so uh, if i run this script again so now as you can see my prompt is on the same line as my uh, echo string username so basically this hyphen p uh, flag is used to print the prompt on the same line uh, now sometimes you also want to make this uh, input silent silent means for example you want to allow the user to enter the password and you don't want to show the uh, what the user is uh, typing then uh, you can use the flag s so let me show you how this works so first of all uh, we will copy the first uh, line of code so control c and after that before hyphen p will you will use the s flag and uh, then the p flag and after that uh, here you are going to uh, write the password which is password and after that you are going to specify your variable uh, with p a w s pass uh, hyphen var so if you want to print the password on the screen you can print or you can skip it also so let me uh, print the password on the screen so control c the echo command and paste it over here so change uh, the variable which is pass and uh, change the string uh, with password and uh, just simply save your string and after that uh, uh, get to your terminal and run your script again and uh, after that you are going to type here your uh, username which is jack and after that you are going to uh, write here password so for example i am writing here one two three four five six seven eight nine so as you can see i have uh, write uh, the password but it is not uh, showing on the screen it is not printed on the screen so as far as i press enter so it will show the password because i have used this echo command to print the password on the terminal so uh, let me enter so one two three and enter so now as you can see uh, we have our password one two three four five six seven eight and nine so as this as you have seen when i was writing the password it was not printing on this uh, terminal but uh, here we have one error because this uh, string uh, should not be over here so to fix this uh, we will just uh, uh, write here echo and save your script and just uh, execute it again and write your username now type here your password 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and press enter so now as you can see we have fixed the uh, password command over here which was printing but now as you can see username is jack and the password is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so it was, uh, that's it for our today's session and I hope you have learned something valuable from our today's session. And if you have learned something valuable from our today's session, so like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get a notification of all my new videos. And let's meet in the next session. Until then, take care. Goodbye.